What on earth does Diego Costa think he's doing? Welcome back to another edition of The Main Issue, and this video we're returning to Diego Costa. Just before we start, I'd like to give a shameless plug for my fortnightly newsletter on the EPL called Main EPL. It'll be the first link in the description, and if you subscribe via that link, you will get a newsletter every fortnight in your inbox with my opinions on the EPL. Now onto the video. So to set the scene, it's the FA Cup quarterfinal at Goodison Park between Everton and Chelsea. Everton have just gone up 2-0 with two Romelu Lukaku goals. It's the 83rd minute and Costa comes through with another fierce and tough challenge on Gareth Barry of Everton. There's obviously a lot of tension between the two and they both get up to confront each other face on. This is where we see a bit of movement between the two and we see Costa kind of move his head towards Gareth Barry's chest. Followed by this, Diego Costa kind of moves in for a rather odd embrace. However, this is no friendly embrace as we see Costa kind of digging his head into the gap between Gareth Barry's shoulder and his neck. As you watch the replay, you see Diego Costa look like he's biting Gareth Barry. Yes, it looks like he is biting. He tries to cover this up by moving his head back and then kind of hugging and patting Barry on the head, but the referee has already spotted that something isn't right. Oliver, the referee, pulls out a yellow card, it's Costa's second for the night and he is sent off. Now, the referee most likely sent Costa off because of the head movement into Gareth Barry, but as we look closer at the replays, you can see that it is highly likely that Costa actually bit Gareth Barry. We shouldn't really be surprising antics like this by Diego Costa. For example, there was an incident that he had with Laurent Koscielny and Gabriel Polista. I made a video about that and I'll link that down below as well. And then there was the incident where he was left as a sub during the Tottenham game and he threw his bib over his head onto Jose Mourinho. So he is known to be highly strong and have a bit of a temper, maybe not thinking about what he's doing on the pitch. Now it's not 100% certain as to whether Diego Costa actually did bite Gareth Barry. But when you look at the evidence, look what's happening, he has to be biting him or if not, he's either licking him. So either way, it's just not on what he's doing just gives football a bad image and I think football fans are sick of seeing this behavior on the pitch. I think what's more fascinating about this incident is the fact that he received this red card but this was no ordinary red card. This is Diego Costa's first ever red card at Chelsea. Can you believe that? After all the suspensions he's faced and warnings he's gotten, Diego Costa has never gotten a red card at Chelsea. He is the last person you would expect in the Premier League to not have received a red card. So now we move on to thinking about the possible punishment for Diego Costa and if he is found guilty of this bite. In my opinion, he has to be banned. There is no two ways about it, he must be banned, I would say until the end of the season, so maybe 10 leagues. There is no place for these antics in football. Now only a few minutes later after Diego Costa's red card, Gareth Barry was sent off as well after a fairly stupid challenge. But obviously the bad guy here is Diego Costa. Look, they both tackled poorly during the game, things were very tense, but you just can't bite people. I do not get what was going through his brain at that time. Maybe there was nothing going on at all. Look, I understand Diego Costa may have been hungry to score some goals, but it doesn't mean he has to eat the defender in his way. So that's it for this video. That's my opinions on this issue for this week. Make sure to let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this bite, whether it was a bite, and what Diego Costa's punishment should be if he is found guilty. Make sure to like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and I'd also really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel. You'll get videos weekly. If you have any more thoughts on this video, make sure to send me a tweet at Joshua underscore M underscore sport, and I'll see you next week.